in today's session we will take one problem based on toroid first we will note down the question a toroid has a core toroid has a core in bracket you write known ferromagnetic a toroid has a core of inner radius 25 cm and outer radius 26 cm around which 3500 turns around which 3500 turns of a wire are wound 300 5 3500 turns of a wire are wound if if the current in the wire is if the current in the wire is 11 ampere what is the magnetic field outside the toroid outside the toroid inside the core of the toroid and see in the empty space in the empty space surrounded by the toroid surrounded surrounded by the toroid okay so i'll read out once again just check a toroid has a core non ferromagnetic of inner radius 25 cm and outer radius 26 cm around which 3500 turns of a wire are wound if the current in the wire is 11 ampere what is the magnetic field there are three cases outside the toroid inside the core of the toroid in the empty space surrounded by the toroid as usual when a sum is given first we will list out the given quantities so here we are given with a toroid so we have a toroid and a wire is wound with 3500 turns So the toroid is you know it has a wire something like this. So so the and current eleven ampere current so this is a toroid and the outer radius and inner radius are given the outer radius you can take it as r2 26 centimeter similarly the inner radius you can take it as r1 as 25 centimeter So you have a toroid which is wound with a wire and the number of turns is 3500 turns. So let us list out all these 
things inner radius is we are taking it as r1 outer radius r2 equal to 26 cm and number of turns number of turns bound on the toroid n is equal to 3500 and current in each turn current i is equal to 11 ampere now we need to find out the three cases so these things we have already done yesterday's class that the outside the toroid the magnetic field is zero we know that outside the toroid magnetic field is zero you can refer the derivation which we have done in the previous class to check how the magnetic field outside the toroid is zero you have to appear uh, you have to apply ampere circuit law to find out it and we know that uh, outside the toroid magnetic field is zero next is asking outside the toroid we know it is zero so it is any point somewhere here if this is a toroid so outside anywhere and next is inside the core of the toroid so it may be some point somewhere inside between r1 and r2 if you take one point right so that is inside the core of the toroid so inside the core of the toroid so we know that the magnetic field inside the core of the toroid is given by b is mu not into n divided by 2 pi r into i here n is given number of turns the current is given r we have the inner and outer radius given so r can be taken as the mean of inner and outer radius so r can be taken as mean of inner and outer radius so r is equal to r1 plus r2 divided by 2 this will give you 26 uh, 25 plus 26 divided by 2 that will be equal to 25.5 cm now calculate magnetic field b now b is equal to mu not that is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 mu not into n n is given 3500 into current i 11 divided by 2 pi r 2 into pi into r is 25.5 cm convert it into meter so multiply by Minus two. Remember to use always SI units. Now calculate this. You get B in Tesla, and this comes around three into ten raised to the power minus two Tesla. Just check the calculation once again, and check whether you are getting three multiplied by ten raised to the power minus two Tesla. that is the magnetic field inside the core of the solenoid check the calculation once again and uh, just you see whether you are getting the answer so the answer is 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 tesla now another case is left out that is in the empty space surrounded by the toroid so this can be any point here 
empty space inside the toroid empty space surrounded by the toroid and in the last class we have also seen that in the empty space also the magnetic field is zero so that also we can write magnetic field magnetic field in the empty space magnetic field in the empty space surrounded by surrounded by the toroid is also zero zero so the answer are the first case outside the toroid zero also the last case inside the empty space is also zero and we have the value of the magnetic field non zero only inside the core of the toroid and that we got it as 3 into 10 raise to the power minus 2 tesla hope you understood this problem